educators amplified. 1510 AM WRRD. My name is Earl Ingram. I'm going to uh, be part host uh, of this special event. My name is Sue Silverstein. I'm a welding instructor at MATC and a member of AFT 212. In, in 2011, uh, Walker cut the budget for and reduced the funding for technical colleges by 30 percent. And students are suffering because of financial aid problems and student debt problems. Um, the cost of providing free tuition for students would be $50 million per year. And this is not much for success given that the amount of that was paid for um, state corrections in 2017 was one point two billion dollars. So what I want to know is if you support free tuition for students for technical college. Right. If I may answer that one, Earl. If you look at my website, forwardflynn.com, that has been my proposal from the beginning of my campaign. The first two years of technical college, public technical college, public uh, two-year uh, colleges and two years universities will be tuition free when I am governor. Uh, it's, they've done it in other states. We can do it in our budget. And here are some facts and figures of what we can do. We should not be giving Foxconn four and a half billion dollars. And when I get in, I will start a litigation to stop it. Uh, I have the expertise for my private law practice to do it. And we're going to get that money back. It's an illegal, unconstitutional contract. We're going to get the billion dollars in Medicaid supplement that he didn't take, the 800 million in training. We're going to get rid of the manufacturer's credit, the 950 million. We're going to restore cash into this economy. And we can do it consistent with our, our present budget. Number two, in addition to technical colleges, I'm going to restore full funding to the University of Wisconsin system. And number three, I am going to legalize marijuana for all purposes, tax it and regulate it. And I am going to empty the jails and prisons of the state. Of anybody there for a low level possession offense with no violence, that will save a great deal of money. I've been working with the wisdom people on that. And we will reorient our priorities in the state. So the answer is yes. The first budget that the governor, and I've talked about that way back in 2012, that the governor took 30% gave a 30% cut to tech college programs. Um, I went to a tech college for a while. I will tell you this, so when you talk about school funding and, and putting together a plan for free tuition, my, my, my dad always, and I was a delegate for Bernie Sanders at the DNC convention. And I will tell you this, but my dad always said there are no free lunches. So here's what I would do with free tuition, and it's not free because of this reason. Someone's paying for it, but here's how I would make it free to the individual or the child. I have, like I said, I have, I have a son that's in eighth grade, public schools. I have a daughter that's a freshman at UW Oshkosh. I have a plan where from sixth grade on to 12th grade, you have to fill so many community service hours that you actually have to fill these hours. And once you reach that threshold of hours, you get two, two years, whether you go to tech college or a four-year college, two years free of college tuition. And then... So from that time, they're going, to, they're going to be in their community. They're going to be helping out the elderly, helping their community, essentially paying it forward. So my son, if I let him play 12 hours a day of, of, of PlayStation, he would do that. But I'm not going to let him do that. We're not going to let any of our youth do that. We're going to actually have two years of free college paid for by you volunteering in your community. And once you actually go to your two-year program or four-year program, you're going to have a loan forgiveness program on the back end to pay for year three and four when you actually stay in the state for five to six years and actually pay taxes, raise a family, have a house or whatever you want to do. So essentially we're going to have our youth being involved in the community, paying it forward, have a sense of community, and actually they didn't just, it's not free, they've earned that tuition. The, the state has actually paid them, they've earned it. So then when they had the loan forgiveness program, they stayed five or six years. Now we're keeping people in our state and we're actually having contributors to society of our state. All so right. it's not free, Thank but you. they're going to earn it. Two years of, of free tuition at a technical school is a, is a good step, but I want to be more ambitious than that. I think it should be Wisconsin's goal to have debt-free education for everyone. And tuition is not the only cost of education. There's housing, there's books, there's, you know, there's food. 
and, and the goal should be debt-free education for everyone, and past generations made that possible. I, I worked my way through four years of college, and I came out with $770 in student debt. And today, the average student's coming out with $30,000 in debt, and I, I ran into a young woman recently with $150,000 in student debt. We have a state budget that spends more on prisons than the entire university system. So part of the answer is changing our priorities. That's why I've come out for fully legalizing marijuana. We've got to stop locking up nonviolent offenders. And we, we've, we've got to flip those priorities and spend more unlocking human potential than we do unlocking people up. We've also got to restore tax justice. Total up all the state and local taxes we pay, the top 1%, the wealthiest 1%, pays the lowest overall tax rate in Wisconsin. We've got to make them pay their fair share. And, and then apply that basic rule for government that I talked about. If a program works, fund it. If a program doesn't work, get rid of it. I talked about taxpayer subsidized private schooling needing to go. I'd also apply that rule to close the state's corporate welfare office, the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation. Plow that money into investments in empowering working people and young people in our state instead of trying to work magic from the top down and hope that some All of what right. the rich are given filters down thank, to the rest thank of you. us. Thank you very much. 100%. We are not going to spend more on prisons than we do on educating our students when I am governor. We, we also have to address the student loan debt crisis that is a millstone around the the necks of generations of people, and we, we have to make it possible for people to refinance their student loan debt and prevent future debt from overtaking uh, students. We need to prioritize education, period, whether it's a University of Wisconsin system, the technical college system, or K through 12. It's around priorities. The state, under the Republicans, has given tax credit after tax credit after tax credit to wealthy individuals in the state, to corporations in the state, $5 billion at Foxconn. We do have the resources that we can certainly uh, increase funding for our technical college system and the University of Wisconsin system. We have, we have the resources now. We can do it. We have to do it. And we, we, we have a proposal, not necessarily to your two-year campuses, but in the University of Wisconsin system, to make tuition 50% of what it should be, or what it is now. We can do that at the technical college system without, uh, without any problem. We, we have the money, we just prioritize it.